Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing solving linear equation with two variables. This time we have the elimination method. So after discussing the substitution method, we have the elimination method. Let's have our first example. Our equation one is 2x minus y is equal to 7. And the second equation is 3x plus y is equal to 8. So since we are in the elimination method, we need to eliminate one of our variables. Let's say we're going to eliminate our x. So our goal is the coefficient must be the same. In this case, they are different, 2x and 3y. So all we need to do is to make them the same. Okay. So we need to multiply in our equation 1 to 3 and in our equation 1 multiply it to 2. So that the equation will be 2x times 3 that is 6x. Negative y times 3 negative 3y is equal to 7 times 3, 21. Second equation, 2x times 2, that is 6x. y times 2, that is positive 2y, is equal to 2 times 8, 16. Notice that our coefficients in our x are the same. So, to eliminate that, we need to subtract. Okay. So, 6x minus 6x, that will be 0. Or we can just cancel that. Now, negative 3y minus 2y, that is negative 5y, is equal to 21 minus 16, that is 5. We need to get the value for y, so we need to divide by negative 5, negative 5. So y is equal to negative 1. Okay. Next, we need to find the value for x. So we need to eliminate now the y. So we have just copy 2x minus y is equal to 7 and 3x plus y is equal to 8. Check the coefficient of y. We have negative 1 and positive 1. So they are the same. They are just different in their sign. But our coefficient here is 1 and 1. So, if we're going to add that, negative 1 plus positive 1, that will give us 0. So, it will be cancelled out. Now, we have 2x plus 3y, that is 5x, and 7 plus 8 will give us 15. Divide by 5, so our x is equal to 15 divided by 5. Now we have the values for x and for y. So our solution now is our x is 3 and our y is negative 1. Now let us try to substitute in our equations to check your answers. So equation 1, 2x minus y is equal to 7 and the equation 2 3x plus y is equal to 8 so x is 3 so 2 times 3 minus y is negative 1 is equal to 7 2 times 3 that is 6 negative times negative that is positive 1 is equal to 7 so 7 is equal to 7 True. Now, 3 times 3, 
plus negative 1 is equal to a. 3 times 3, that is 9, minus 1 is equal to a. So, a is equal to a. Okay, correct. True. Now, if the question asks you, determine the graph. Is it intersecting, coinciding, or parallel? So, since we have one solution, so it is intersecting. Intersecting line. And the classification of systems, we have the consistent and independent. And the number of solution, we have one or the unique solution. That is the use of our table. The shortcut here in elimination method is that we're going to manipulate our equations so that our coefficient will be the same. Then you will be, you need to cancel that out. For our next video, we will combine the elimination and the substitution method. How to do that? Watch our next video. See you and thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.